You right, guys. Um, this is my fourth video in this series. This is going to be on feeding your snake and how to far out your mice and rats. Um, what I do is I go up in levels. So basically, I start off with rat pups with um, newborns. Uh, this is for boas, but you can. It varies between snakes. Like if you're feeding them on mice first, if you get pinkies, you can do this as well. I go up in levels. So basically, the first level is a rat pup for my boa. And um, feed it that, and uh, after a couple of weeks, it should, once it's grown a bit, it should, um, afterwards you've fed it one, it should be still looking around its cage, um, its tank, looking for more food. If it does that, move up to level two, feed it two of them, which are rat, rat pups, I feed it two rat pups. Um, then, after a couple more weeks, it should be doing the same, going around after two, looking for more food. Then... I move them up to um, medium mice, so you get a rat pup which is about this big, and move it up to a medium mouse, and then I do the same. Feed it one after a couple of weeks, move up to level four, and um, feed it two. Then after a couple of weeks, move it up to level five, which is an extra large mouse, which I have here. This is an extra large mouse. It's in water. I'm firing it out at the minute. That's how big they are. Um, do the same. Lilo is my head sharp albina, uh, one hundred percent. Plus, uh, yeah, yeah. But um, she's on extra large mice at the minute, which is here, which I'm firing out now. Um, then once she gets a bit bigger, I'll be feeding her two, moving up to level six. Then moving her straight up, like I did with this one, depending on how big. Uh, I moved that one straight up to medium rats. So I'll probably put her a small rat soon. Um, albina rats. Then just move them up like that, every, then feed them two, then once I get to their max size, which is about this big for a male, um, it's quite big. He's on large rats. Um, females can move up to rabbits uh, if they're big enough. And um, snake behind me. <laughs> and uh, so, yeah, he can smell food, but he got fed the other day, so it's Lulo's go. Feed these two at the same time, feed her every five days. Big snakes like these one, uh, these two, I feed every 10 days, 9 to 10 days, depending if how active they are. Um, Lilo, my um, smallest one, I feed every 5 to 7 days, depending how active she is. Um, yeah, so you've got your mice. If you only have one snake, you're best off going to get them from a pet shop. And they cost you about, depending on, like, extra large mice will cost you around 90p. Um, Cramping my leg, sorry. Um, rats can cost you around two pound, uh, depending what size. Uh, so yeah, once you've got all that stuff sorted and you know what size food you get in, you know everything about it. Firing them out. There's a number of ways you can do it. Oh no, if you have, um, if you don't want to get it from pet shop, you can buy them in bulk. If you've got a few snakes, which I did a video before on which websites I get my stuff off. So basically, I do that. Um, once I, once I um, get my mice, I know what size they are and stuff like that, I fire them out. Basically, what there's a number of ways to do it. You can get some tissue paper, um, turn your heating on, put it over your heater, and lay the mouse on top. Fires out, and it takes a bit longer. What I normally do is get some hot water, which is in like a Tupperware dish thing. Hot, not boiling hot water. Because that'll boil your snake, it'll cook a uh, mouse, it'll cook your snake or eat it. So yeah, don't do that. Um, whatever you do, don't be stupid and put your mouse in the microwave. It'll just make a mess. It'll explode in your microwave and then you have to clean it or even buy a new microwave because you don't want rat guts all over your microwave. So basically, once you've done that, you don't want boiling water. You want about 80 degrees Celsius water and put it in. Leave it in there for about and half an hour 15 minutes until it's pliable so basically it moves around you can move it it's not hard anymore once you've done that uh, basically how you feed a snake you can do it two ways hold it like this let it take it from your hand which I'd, I've never done I might do it this video um, I don't recommend it because you can get bit I use tongs it up, put it in the tank. So basically what I'm going to do, I'm not going to recommend this to anyone, is um, feeding my hands for the first time. So this is Lila, 
I'll just bring it over here. Open the tank. Well, I can already smell it, it's already out. So, um, do this. Get the mouse. Turn it off. And, uh, two seconds, guys. Sorry about this. There we go. Can you see that? There we go. Do this. Should take it. Or not. If they don't take it first time, it means that they're just um, a bit scared. There we go, she's getting ready now. So you get the gist of it basically. So if it takes it, it takes it. If it doesn't, it doesn't. And um, yeah, so that's how what, what my side, I get my technique on what I do. Um, try it with tweezers. Don't take it means it's not that hungry. But um, basically, what I do is do this, and it should take it soon. Um, yeah, cheers for watching. Again, if it, if you want to shout, I'll just ask me and I'll do that for you. And if you find my videos interesting, informal, all like that, so give us a favour and um, subscribe. Cheers for watching.